And welcome back guys, welcome back to Night in the Woods, I'm a Leviathan, let's continue on with the game. Uh, where we last left off, me and B went to a graveyard, we talked to some teenagers, found up some embarrassing facts about uh, May, then we uh, opened up a tomb of little, uh, was it little Tim or something like that, I can't remember the name, uh, and then we saw the creepy ghost killer guys, so we're now home now, I haven't gone to bed yet, um, just because the last episode was running a little bit, was running a bit late, so that being said, um, yeah. So, I'm going to naturally assume I'm going to have probably a, another nightmare. Um, but yeah, normally I start these after I wake up, but who knows. If it's, is it going to be another one? Yep, another one of these. Oh, this seems different. Well, I can't see shit. Oh, now I can. It used to be these dreams were only happening like every other day. Now it's every single night I have a dream to deal with. But, you know what, I bet you the night in the woods is the dreams I'm having, and I don't know. It's always just a little strange. Very pretty, though. Got some aurora borealis going on on the top. Pretty stars, not only in the sky, but also on the, uh, like, oh, what's that? At least I don't have to collect any friggin' music stuff now. As fun as that was, listening to the music, it was kind of hard to find it sometimes. Where are we headed? Oh, cryptic cat. Tell me your ways. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me that I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town? It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A giant beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear. With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. Beyond are things built blind and ter terrible. And I am showing you now. Oh dear. Oh, is that a... It's like a flea. Ah. Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air. And closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing. Between the stars and I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. 
We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Deep stuff. It's like that episode of Futurama where Bender meets with God or possible God. I don't know. That was a little bit... That was a little nuts. Keep it unlocked. Echoes. Let's see what the friends are up to. Oh, they all have something to say. Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude. At the old snackle... Snalkin. Come save me from boredom. Supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. And Sharkle. Awesome. All right, well, that was very eye opening. I still want to figure out what the code safe is. Safe, you know, code to the safe. I don't know if there's a point in going in there, but I wonder if the new work if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs, like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. I have no idea. Oh mom. Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby... Okay. I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. As I say more stuff to her. If I was a boy, you can call... If it was a boy, you can call him Calvin. Oh, God, Mom. If it were a girl, you could name her... Trash Baby? Cordelia. Why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. Well, at least she's accepting of uh, grandchildren, but hell, I don't even have a job right now. I live at home. Alright, let's see what the old kids are doing. Now, yesterday we did stuff with B. Now, we can either hang out with Angus or um, Gregory. Greg. Yo, what up? Hey, man. You okay? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Sure, I love all your poems. Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay. Chaskikov's up there again. He, like, ever drop that telescope? Oh, no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Alright, sorry about that, Selmers. Now, I forgot, I was able to get- what do you gotta say? Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. I feel ya. So he's up there with his telescope, and I forgot how to get up there. 
Um, I know there's a way. I did it once before in one of the previous episodes, but I maybe I have to go all the way from the left to make my way up there. I don't know. I'm not going to waste my time doing it. Now, last time I went up to the church and talked to Mom, I went on a little adventure, but uh, we won't do that today. We have other things to do, other friends to talk to. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll at least talk to, um, we'll at least talk to, to B first, then go see everybody else. Then after that, what up, girl? Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof, what are you up to today? Uh, wandering around town. Have fun. Yeah, so I could have, you know, I could do stuff with her, but, you know, I gotta, I gotta pay attention to my other friends, too. I can't just keep on hanging out with just one. What if I'm gonna hang out with, um, uh, maybe I'll hang out with Angus today, if, if he wants to. I know Greg wanted to as well. Yo, what up, friend? Hey, man. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Oh, I guess I'm not. Maybe him and Greg are having a tiff. You never know in those types of relationships. Well, any relationship can have its problems. It's kind of funny that Greg and uh, Angus... Wait, oh, we're going to actually go home? Wait, why, why am I coming here then? Nobody's home. Maybe, oh yeah, can I, oh yeah, I can go in the groove now. I remember them saying something about that because uh, Greg was saying he couldn't sleep because they were pounding on the roof. Oh, oh god damn it. I'm sorry. Alright, new places to check out. But can I do like a triple jump over there? What the hell is a malt? It is a like a chocolate shake. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Hey, look at an old, uh... I forgot what these things are called. I don't know if I should be up here, but screw it. Always good to ch try out and check new things. Maybe we'll meet a new friend up here. Oh, someplace. Where am I at? I have no idea. Maybe an abandoned building? Oh, Jazz Man and his birds. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. What up? Um, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Uh, exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Uh, are you on stage a lot? Nope, not for a long, long time at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, I've been a few decades. Are you gonna like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting on anything here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. In fact, with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's more of, that's like most of town. <laughs> that it is, that it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. <laughs> well, small world, small town at least. Definitely. See ya. Oh, look at a pentagram. Huh, pentagram. Well, you enjoy yourself, jazz lady. Or is it a guy? I can't tell. I think it's a lady. Sadie's a lady is a girl's name. Cool. I'm just gonna jump down and kill myself. Oh, I didn't kill myself. Well, at least I got down. Oh, there's a snack falcon right there. So I say to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. Ha ha ha. And she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true, we both danced on that table. Nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Cool.
What's up, duder? Hey, how are you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? Uh, I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh? Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. Ah, uh, I'm good. So what's up? Wanna hang out? Got some date stuff tonight with Angus. It's cool, I might hit a B. Hit her the F up. So what's up? Um, I'm just checking in. You, you have checked in officially. I check thee. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to... I thought I would be hanging out with him. I guess I'm gonna hang out with B now. Not that I'm upset with hanging out with B. Is there any place else I want to check out? Don't really seem that way. Nah, let's go see what uh, B is up to. Do 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 boop boom. Bye, Angus. It's weird. He's all upset, but they're having a date night. Maybe it's not a date night. Maybe they're just having like a a night to talk about their issues, problems, and such. All right, lady. Let's hang out again because that seems to be the thing. Oof, what are you do up to today? Whatever you want to do. Proximity. What are we doing today, lady? So what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she's intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Anyways, this is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you. I'll go into secret parties and shit. We're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you, now you're invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. Man, an hour and a half. I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town. And you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? <laughs> you know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You're not smart either. I was valid Victorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, let's go. Is this the parte? I'm kinda nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down here, just just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey Jackie. Ooh, she's a Impala or something. Hey B. Oh weird, it's May. Hey Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it'll be a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. I want to go to Papa T's for some pizza subs and beer. Everybody's on their phones, like these kids today. Never getting up off their phones. It's a tragedy. Tragedy? Travesty. Tragedy is B. Words. Oh, yeah. Am I gonna get drunk? That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Haha, <laughs> alright. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's the best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. You can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Haha. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's me. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye boys. Ooh, it's like, B wants them. Interspecies. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, man. Okay, fine. 
You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance me? Can like anyone dance here? Oh god, I hope it's not like a button DDR type of thing. No, let's hit it. Oh god, it's gonna be like that, isn't it? Nope, we're just dancing. Oh god, I'm doing like I'm doing like a white dad dance, kind of. I'll just let you guys listen to the music. Oh yeah, I can do a bunch of things. Oh yeah, shake that ass. Woo! I I have no idea, but I'll try to go with the groove. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance, I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, well, we'll be like 10 feet away. With that eyesight. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything, someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, don't ever do that. Anyone offers you a drink at a party? Unless you want to be roofied. I'm just dancing my little kitty heart away. I'm just gonna twerk. Yep. Is that it? Oh, wait. Well, I don't want to save and quit, no. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? What up? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? <laughs> Whatever, give our name. Broski. Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, May Broski? Uh, I'm a college dropout. A ghost is chasing me and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams. Where I was running around jumbled bits of like history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in shower dream. And yeah, there's this ghost. And I'm pretty sure it like kidnapped someone on Halloween. I'm pretty sure I didn't imagine that. My friends don't completely buy it. And I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college and I don't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. And I've never just listed all that out once before. Wow. I stole your life story. Uh, I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, alright. Oh god. Wait, what am I- I can do it! Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh god, are we gonna- Oh, pentagram. Whoosh. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. Haha. <laughs> He's totally trying to get my pants. Wow. It worked. Wow. Okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Broski. Haha. <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay. Need to tell. Friend. Location. Haha. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. Wow, I've got a boner for her. Or for him, rather. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, uh, she's okay. Did she tell you we went saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Let me... Like, Memento Mori and shit? Yeah, yeah, sick transit, Gloria nerd. You're laughing a lot. Ha 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 ha. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Uh, well, a book you liked? Uh, I like ghost stories. My granddad died and left me an apple crate full of them. Ha ha ha. Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. Beast mom is dead too. Ha 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 ha. May, may, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring, but my house exploded because there was a gas leak. 
for when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move. And dad said he had to come with us. Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? Poly Sky? Poly Sky? Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Or is that political science? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Haha, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. Gonna play bazillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. BBB, check out this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interviewed at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. Uh, May, do you want to dance some more? Uh, nah, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Ha ha ha, mate, no. Whatever it is Possum Springs, it's west, in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, he's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? Ha 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 ha. I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Wow, you drove all the way from here to Deep Hollow County? Isn't it like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick, B down here drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... Haha. <laughs> She's gonna cry? B, wait. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Hmm, do I wanna... Oh, I can't even go back and see my friend. That I was so happy with. But that's okay. Other friends are more important. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I'll personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, oh god, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Yeah, I pretty much sold her out and said she doesn't go to college. Where are you, B? The roofs. Can you get to the river quickly on the roofs? I don't know, man. Oh, hey, move. What? Move, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it o over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm gonna have to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to. You're about to what? You know, you know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. I don't know how May got on the roof if I couldn't, or be on the roof if I couldn't even get on it. Wee, wee. Oh shit. I, I don't see her being back here, but. Guess I'll have to find out. Can I triple jump over here? No, it's too slippery of a slope. Yeah, I have no idea where she's at. But I, of course I fucked everything up. I don't even know. You don't, I don't know. She just talks too much. I talk too much. Oh, May. Or B. Where could you be? Pretty good at parkouring. 
I'm, ori I'm an original Assassin's Creed person. Come on, you can get over this. Whoosh. Hey, it's those clock towers where I met the people. And down we go. Ow, that hurt. Hey, there you are. Are you alright? Her eyes turned red like she was... Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town. You don't even know where... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. You, this is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You, th you know what I do when I go to sleep? Haha, <laughs> this is so friggin' sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're already over so ready is my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost a house. The house I grew up in gone. So some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up. From a dream about nice like this, and you can't get that, through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family. And my life is slipping away. And I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store. In that stupid town. I'm just... Doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up that thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Look, we're both trapped, but we're trapped together. I... better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. Ha ha ha. Oh god. What river is this? Red winder? Or winder? All the iron in the water. Turns to rocks orange. Must be weird from them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking at them. Hmm. So like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like, stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Go uh, Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just, uh, what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't know. My entire life feels like it's running after something. It keeps moving away into the distance. While I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can go come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. Well, you've done it once, so you should know how to do, not do it again. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you'll ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big of a total idiot as you act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it.
You know what the Fort Lucene Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. Crap, I didn't get into her get her info. Who? The super cute girl. It was a it was a girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Oh man, I didn't get the lady's number. Best available friend is me. What's up, daddy? Hey. Hello. Oh wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're going to have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams. And I keep thinking I'm seeing a ghost. A ghost? I've been having these... I've, yeah, I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way... Is on, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I going to survive? And, and, and. Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Oh God. Carbro and Malloy. Malloy. Garbo. Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. These could do. Why Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't r invented religion yet. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so what do you think? That we all think there's a God, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy. But it would be a WAPA. This show. I don't know who they're trying to like parody, but it's cute. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. I mean, I can never see the cool stuff they do. Later, Pops. Need to find out that damn code to the safe, too. Alrighty. Well, I'm not going to go to sleep in this episode just because um, I'm kind of running past time anyways, and who knows how long it'll be. I'm going to talk to my friends first a little bit quick before we end the episode. Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That really dancing take it, dancing really takes it out of you. That's like really, that's like really nice, May, that you did that. Oh, uh, I wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Hmm. <laughs> hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do part to do more parties. You were very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Laters indeed. Alrighty guys, well that wraps up today's episode. We went to a party. We kinda screwed things up, but we kinda patched it up and we got a girl's number, but or we met a girl, but damn it, we didn't get her number. But uh yeah, I'm glad that me and B are still cool. And in the next episode, I don't even know what we're gonna be doing, honestly. 
maybe talk to dad some more, talk to mom, talk to our friends, you know, live life and find out more things and maybe catch our ghosts. But uh, yeah, if you like the videos I do, make sure you click the subscribe button you see on the screen along with the videos to see as well. But I've been Leviathan and this has been Night in the Woods and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys.